In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, good people of God, and welcome. You are listening to Catholic Meditation this day, Thursday, the 18th of July, 2019. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. The Church celebrates today the Feast of St. Camillus, Priest. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, who adorned the priest St. Camillus with a singular grace of charity towards the sick, pour out upon us by his merits a spirit of love for you, so that serving you in our neighbor, we may at the hour of our death pass safely over to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 3, verses 11 to 20. The gospel is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 to 30. I read from the first reading. Moses said to God, Who am I? to go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt. I shall be with you, God said, and this is the sign by which you will know that I was the one who sent you. After you have led the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. Moses then said to God, Look, if I go to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your ancestors has sent me to you, and they say to me, What is his name? What am I to tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. God further said to Moses, You are to tell the Israelites, Yahweh, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name for all time, and thus I am to be invoked for all generations to come. Go, gather the elders of Israel together and tell them, Yahweh, the God of your ancestors, has appeared to me, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, and has indeed visited you and seen what is being done to you in Egypt, and has said, I shall bring you out of the misery of Egypt to the country of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, to a country flowing with milk and honey. They will listen to your words, and you and the elders of Israel are to go to the king of Egypt and say to him, Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews, has encountered us. So now please, Allow us to make a three days journey into the desert and sacrifice to Yahweh our God. I am well aware that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless he is compelled by a mighty hand. He will not let you go until I have stretched out my arm and struck Egypt with all the wonders I intend to work there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Do not look or think inferior of yourself. Do not look or think inferior of yourself. Dear friends, many times we think of ourselves or see ourselves too small, irrelevant, or incompetent to do some things. It is not about humility. But we judge ourselves incapable and unfit perhaps because of fear or perhaps because we think there are more competent persons than ourselves. Also perhaps because others make us feel incompetent. Our life history, our past, even our present scare us and so we disqualify ourselves. It was in the same situation Moses found himself. When called and sent by God, his response, rather than the usual, Here I am, send me, as we heard others say, like Isaiah, who said, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening, send me, I will go. Like Samuel, who also said, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. And like the Blessed Virgin Mary, who said, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you say. Moses, on the contrary, says, Who am I to go to Pharaoh? The question, Who am I? is a question that seeks an answer, touching on his person, his personality, his character, his class, his talents, his competence. Who am I? It is a derogatory way of saying, I am a nobody, a man of no class or status, worse still, to go to Pharaoh. By asking this question, who am I? Moses disqualifies himself before God. He thinks himself too inferior. In fact, he tells God, God has made a mistake, a wrong choice by choosing him. Moses judges himself incompetent. Yes, he is a stutterer. There are better persons like Aaron. Why did God not use them? Why him? Who was he? A nobody. Yes, Moses could have been a nobody, but for God, he was everything, just the right candidate for the job. So if God were to provide an answer to Moses' question, Who am I? God would say, You are everything. God makes him understand that the power working in us and that will be working in him is not our own, but God's. So he tells him, I will be with you. We are simply and only instruments and channels in God's hands. So he decides whatever channel and instrument he wants to use. For God, even a blunt machete can be sharp. All he needs is our availability. So in contradiction to the question, who am I of Moses? God describes who he is. God says, my name is I am. Meaning, I am capable. I am everything. I am possibility. Like Moses, many times too we have wondered and asked, Who am I? We forget that God is I am. So when you doubt and question yourself, Who am I? God answers, I am. An answer of assurance and hope. An answer meaning, I am capable. I am present, I am competent, I am able. So it is not us, it is God. So when Moses said, who am I? God said, I am. So while Moses is doubting his competence and capability, God is telling him, I am capable. I am able because it is not you to do it, it is me to do it through you. God is not interested about our background. He is not interested about our personal defects or physical traits. 
We are weak, St. Paul says. We are simply adding where just that carried this great treasure. Remember, God chose David despite his age and size. He chose Mary from a humble family. Therefore, beloved, never underestimate yourself. True, there may be others greater than you. So before you ask, who am I? Remember, God is I am. He is capable of using you as you are. Dear God, thank you for using us as we are, with our human weaknesses, with our human brokenness. We thank you for making use of us on worthy channels as we are. Give us the grace always to remain strong and committed to you. And for others who feel discouraged because of their weaknesses, who feel discouraged because of their past history, let them be able to remember that God is I am. God is. He is capable. He is competent. And he can do it through any channel. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen. <music>